Hi, welcome to another screencast video of Algodox. In this video, we will demonstrate AI-based data extraction by training a custom model. We will use bill of lading documents for training our custom model in this video. These bill of lading documents are taken from one of the use cases of Algodox. Therefore, some parts of the documents are masked, but we are going to capture the data that is visible, so no worries. These documents are actually images taken by a mobile device. As you can see, all documents have different layouts and positions of the fields. We are going to train our model for capturing bill of lading number, origin terminal number, pro number, number of pallets, ship to city, state, zip code, prepaid options such that selected or unselected, and lastly, the items table from which we need only three columns, weight, commodity description, and the class. Let's begin. As the first step, we create the extractor. Let's name it BOL Extractor and choose a sample document. After the pre-processing operation completed, we go to the Extractor Editor. Algodox offers different extraction methods, but we are going to use a custom model option, which takes us to the AI Custom Model Editor. The sample document that we uploaded when creating the extractor is now being processed. Getting AI Custom Model ready requires two mandatory steps, which are labeling of documents and training the model. The last step is used for post-formatting of captured data by the model, which is optional. We start by uploading more files for labeling. We should have at least 10 labeled documents to be able to train the model. Our first document is already uploaded, so we select remaining nine files. We leave last two files because we will use them for testing the model. It is advised to label more than 10 files for more complex cases, so we can label hundreds or thousands of documents for the model to produce high accuracy results. Next, we create the fields on the right pane. When adding the fields, we also specify their types, which are field, table, and selection mark. In our case, prepaid is going to be a selection mark, items is a table, and remaining ones are all fields. We add bill of lading number. Next, we add origin terminal number. Then, we add pro number. Next, we add number of pallets field. Now, we continue with ship to city. Then, we add ship to state field. Then, ship to zip code field. Next, we add a prepaid, which is a selection mark. Finally, we add items table. We set three columns, which are weight, description, and the class. Now, we start labeling the documents. Labeling is very important, since the AI model learns from the way we label the documents. Therefore, we need to be accurate and label documents properly. When labeling the fields or selection marks, it is sufficient to click on the value whether it is a word or a checkbox and assign to the corresponding field. So bill of lading number is labeled, we continue with origin terminal. Next, we label pro number. Then we label handwritten number of pallets, which is also a part of the sticker. Then we continue with ship to fields, city, state, and zip code. Next, we label prepaid selection mark.
When labeling a table, we have two options. One is to use auto label, and the second is to label manually. Let's use auto label for this document. When clicking on the table icon, we can see automatically detected table. Here we say auto label and select the table from the list of tables. Since we have just one table, we have only one option available, which is items table. We assign column names to their correct columns. In this case, we ignore first two columns and assign the weight to column three. In addition, we ignore columns four and five and assign description with class to the last two columns. Since we need to train the model to capture only the line items, we uncheck the row that contains headers of the table. This means our model will ignore the headers of the table and capture only items information. After clicking on finish button, we can see that our table is populated and properly auto-labeled. Auto-label for tables is useful, especially in cases when we have larger tables. We will see manual way of labeling a table in the next document. For this document, we follow the same steps for labeling the fields in a selection mark as we did in the previous document. Here, we will label a table manually, which is quite simple. We just select the words on the document and assign them to their corresponding cells on the table. That's it. Labeling our last file and we are done. After labeling all the documents, we continue with the training step. Here, we initiate the training of the model by clicking on the train button and confirming that we labeled all files properly. The training process may take up to one hour depending on the number of documents you labeled. If we exit Custom Model Editor, we will be taken back to our Extractor Editor, and here we can see all the fields we created for the custom model. Since AlgaDocs offers different data extraction methods, we can add more fields for data extraction using rule-based or other methods if needed. We can go back to our custom model by clicking on any of these fields. While our model is being trained, we can see an example of post formatting. Let's remove commas that may be captured together with ship to city. For this, we select Ship to City field and apply a filter to remove a comma from the city name. That's it. The training of our model will take more time, so I will come back when the training is completed. Now, the training of our custom AI model is completed and we can test our model by uploading files that we did not use for training. Let's create a new folder for the files we're going to upload. We right-click on the folder and select our extractor for which we will upload the documents. Uploaded files will be processed by our custom model, and the captured data can be viewed under Extracted Data section.
As we can see, the data is successfully extracted from the documents we have just uploaded. We can export extracted data to Excel, JSON, or XML. Additionally, we can review captured data by our model and apply corrections if needed. Moreover, we can use Algodox integrations for automating import of files to Algodox and fetching extracted data from Algodox. For any questions and support, please contact support at algodox.com. Thank you for watching.